Hey guys, so for today's video, um, I actually wrote down some notes uh, because I know I'm going to stumble and I just want to make sure that everything is correct when I'm giving you advice on something. So I did write it down. I actually have it open and it's right here. As you can see, there's a lot um, writing on here. And for today's video, if you guys can already tell by the title, it is actually going to be talking or I'm actually going to be talking about finding the right foundation shade for your skin tone. Um, so with further ado or without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the video. I hope that this is helpful and yes yeah, so let's get started finding the right foundation can be hard you have to keep in mind with a certain of things like your skin tone ingredients that you may be allergic to or some if you may be allergic to uh, your skin type if it's dry oily maybe you have sensitive skin and also, what are you looking in for a foundation? Foundation comes in different formulas, such as four different types. They have a stick foundation, a creamy foundation, you have a liquid foundation, and also a powder foundation. Some of them oxidize, which in a couple of hours or minutes, you think that is the right shade on your face, but then after a couple of minutes or hours, they turn a different complete color on you. That's what, short version of my explanation, that's what oxidize is basically. And also some has SPF and then some doesn't oxidize and some doesn't have SPF. There are three different coverage. There are light coverage, medium coverage, and also full coverage. So depending what foundation you are kind of looking for, if you want a light coverage, more of a BB cream will work for you. If you're looking for a medium coverage, you want to go towards a foundation such as maybe powder that would work. And if you're looking for a full coverage, basically a liquid foundation that can be buildable and it won't cake up onto your face. Now, some of the foundation that you'll find maybe in drugstores or high-end, some are buildable that will leave your face not looking cakey and then some foundation if you use it and you try build it up as to like a wearing concealer but you're not wearing concealer you just put it on more foundation to kind of conceal your dark spots or you know maybe your acne or redness marks then some foundation will leave your face looking a little cakey and if you add powder that will kind of cake it up Well, more. using foundation or finding foundation for your skin type, you have to keep in mind there are three foundation finishes. The first one is semi-matte, the second one is matte, and then the third one is luminizing. So the first one, which is semi-matte, basically gives your face kind of a glow finish to it and then also it leaves your face a little matte not too oily not too matte so it's like right in the middle matte is basically a matte matte finish like if you would find a lipstick basically that kind of goes on matte it's a matte finish and then if you're looking for a subtle glow to your face, then you will go ahead and find a foundation that kind of has a luminizing, you know, kind of feel to it, if that makes sense. So there's two things that you want to keep in mind when you are kind of putting matte and also luminizing face products or foundation products on your face. If you have dry skin, and or maybe dry patches a matte finish wouldn't be great for you as the foundation will kind of cling onto the dry patches and enhance it so it's more a little bit noticeable if you were just to wear a BB cream or something that is not too matte on your face so if you have dry patches or dry skin especially if you don't want to enhance your dry patches go for more of a semi matte if you are an oily person with dry patches, then luminizing would not, or a Lumi foundation would not work for you, and also a matte 
won't work for you. Now, if you do have oily skin and your face kind of produce oil throughout the day, then a Lumi foundation finish wouldn't be great for you as the foundation will make your skin looking more oily than it really usually is and then you're going to have to touch up on your face and you guys or you probably don't want that i know i don't want so that. some people on youtube and just some people in general will use a primer and some won't i will tell you that when i didn't use a primer when i was first starting out using makeup I noticed that my foundation would kind of cling onto my dry patches more. Um, my foundation wouldn't slide on very nicely. It wouldn't give me a flawless look. Um, so I do want to tell you that using a primer or putting just primer on the spot on your face where it needs to be would make a difference in your foundation and actually applying your whole makeup onto your face. So most foundation will set into your pores and fine lines. So it's good to use a primer of your choice. I'm not going to tell you go get a primer that is very expensive when maybe there's a dupe for it. So of your choice, use a primer that will help you know fill your pores or help uh, fill in your fine lines and also kind of create a smooth canvas a primer is basically a layer that sits on your bare skin so your foundation can be applied easily and flawless looking and also it won't sink into your skin causing you know breakouts so basically if you don't have a have a primer some skins are different I know but for my skin if I don't apply a primer before I apply my foundation basically my foundation is sitting onto my bare skin and that will cause my skin to have breakouts I notice that I do break out when I eat chocolate I know that which is totally weird but if I do apply primer and then I let it sit for a while just a couple seconds and then I apply my foundation my fa my foundation goes on smoothly it's a very flawless looking it fills in my pores and my fine lines which I have underneath my eyes and on my head is fine lines and then I do have pores on my nose which I don't like but it fills it in and it helps my skin to create a smooth canvas so a primer is good for using. You don't have to use a primer, but I find that it helps for me. So I'm just sharing if you want to use a primer, you can. The next thing you want to do is basically exfoliate your skin. Now your skin do, I don't know how much it produces. I'm pretty sure it doesn't produce, but your skin do tend to have dead cells or dead skins sitting on your skin and your skin needs to breathe too so it's good not to wear makeup every single day because it's good to leave your skin to breathe basically because putting on foundation can kind of tend to close your skin to the point where it's not breathing so it's good to have your skin to breathe but it is also good to exfoliate your skin as exfoliating will basically take off the dead skin layer so that way your face look more brighter, it looks a little bit younger, it's, you know, it looks flawless as maybe you can see in this camera. I really don't know if you can, but I do have problem areas on my face, but I do exfoliate. I do use a primer. I do use a foundation finish that would be good for me. The formulas I do use and it is a little bit hard to find the right foundation shade as you have to go through a couple steps your skin your undertone skin color is it blue is it purple is it blue purple is it green can you wear gold rings or are you best fitting in silver rings for me I wear gold rings and I'm mostly I don't want to say I'm mostly a warm tone skin color there are three different skin tone color you have your cool your neutral and then also your warm in the summertime I'm basically a warm skin tone color and then in the winter time and springtime and stuff like that I am mostly just neutral so I do kind of have to switch up my foundations so basically I do have a lot of foundations I have a lot of foundation that are in neutral in neutrals and then I have a lot of foundation that are basically good for me to wear during the summertime so I hope this video helps you a little 
if I didn't cover something, I am truly sorry. If you have any questions or you guys want to know more about finding the right foundation shade for your skin tone color or whatever it may be, uh, go ahead and comment down below and I will try answer it best. If not and you want to kind of find your own right foundation shade, I will have a link down below to this website that is called Fin Foundation where basically you put in the correct you want to make sure that you put in the correct foundation that actually really fits you the best and then you're it's going to pop up and it's going to show all the right you know foundations yeah all the right foundations that will best maybe fit you so if you want to go ahead and work with that website you guys can i'll have it linked down below i use that website i find it helpful it works best for me so if you want to take a chance and you know use that website it's basically free but I'll have a link down below so you guys can check that out. So I hope this video was a little helpful in some sort of way. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. I will be doing hopefully a review soon on something that somebody requested. So yeah, I hope to see you guys later in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me. Comment down below if you have any questions or a video that you would like to see me do. And yeah, so I love you guys. Take care and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.